Thomas the Tank Engine enjoys taking specials. Today, he was bringing a special to Brendam Docks. His load was to go onto a cargo ship. The ship was scheduled to depart at sundown. Thomas had to get to the docks before then. But the load was very heavy. So Thomas puffed as hard as he could. He pulled so hard, he broke his coupling rods. He wasn't going anywhere. Oh dear, Thomas said, I'll be late. His driver saw an old shed near the track. If there's a telephone in there, I could call for help, he said. Hurry, said Thomas, and be careful, it looks a bit spooky. Then a voice boomed from inside the shed. Do you mind? I'm trying to sleep. Thomas hoped it wasn't a ghost. Then his driver appeared. Is it a ghost? asked Thomas nervously. It's a surprise. His driver teased. Then the fireman took some of Thomas's coal and headed off to the shed. She could get us to the fitter's yard, his driver said. If her boiler holds, added the fireman anxiously. What kind of surprise is that? Thomas wondered. Thomas, meet Elizabeth, said his driver. At last the doors opened and out chuffed a dirty, grimy steam lorry. So, you're the little puffer that's broken down, she sniffed. Thomas was cross, and you're just an old sentinel lorry, he retorted. That would be vintage sentinel lorry, snapped Elizabeth, and I haven't much time to get your coupling rods. The driver was concerned. Elizabeth was making awful grinding sounds. She's not built for hills, he said anxiously. You're losing steam, he called. Just catching my breath, Elizabeth chuffed. And finally she made it. When Elizabeth returned with Thomas's coupling rods, she was pleased with herself. And next time, don't be so careless, she scolded. Thomas thought Elizabeth was the rudest lorry he had ever met, but he was very happy to get his new coupling rods. <laughs> Thomas made it to the docks just in time. What took you so long? said the fat controller. Thomas told him about his broken coupling rods. He wanted to tell him how rude Elizabeth had been when she rolled up. Oh, it's you, said Elizabeth, looking down at the fat controller. Have you learned to drive properly yet? She's for it now, said Thomas to his driver. Elizabeth, said the fat controller fondly, my first lorry. I thought you had been lost. They were old friends. It was too much for Thomas. Then Elizabeth told the fat controller how she'd been left in the shed for years. The fat controller was so pleased Elizabeth had been found, he asked Jem Cole to restore her to her original beauty. And soon Elizabeth had a rich dark colour and gleaming coachworks. You're the grandest lorry in the whole railroad, the fat controller said proudly. I know, said Elizabeth even more proudly. And Thomas had to agree. She did look grand. <laughs>